Hey spooky witches, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing with the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2 collection just in time for Halloween. I am so excited to share this look on my face today and my thoughts on this collection and just kind of sit down and play with some makeup. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Alrighty my witches, here we have the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2. So the first thing I want to do is just show you what the palette looks like. Look how gorgeous. Manny did not disappoint. I love the theme. And for reference, I'll pull up my regular Moonspell palette. I'm a bit hesitant to do so because there's been quite an accident with one of the shades inside. Um, but as you can see, they both have that kind of tarot card feel with the hand. A lot of the symbols are very similar, but there are a couple differences. As you can see, this one has a spider and snake. This one has a scale and potion. I don't know if he's gonna kind of continue to come out with these and just build the Moonspell family. But let me show you the inside. So I'm going to be very careful with this one because if you saw, I think it was my shop, my stash. There was um, an incident with this top shade that I have to repress. So this one is more of your cool tones, uh, your purpley green shades. I actually really like the color story of this palette. The only reason I haven't been using it is because of this top shade right here. I'm scared I have to repress it still and I just haven't. Um, but for reference, this is the Moonspell Volume 2. We're getting more shades. I believe they're the same size, but we're getting more shades. So the other palette had three rows of five, and this one has four rows of five. And these are all pinky purple. And when I pulled this palette out and I looked at it, it reminded me a lot of the Jeffree Star Pink Religion palette. So here are those two side by side. As you can see, this one has more neutrals and wearable colors mixed in, whereas the Jeffree palette is only pinks and purples. But there are some repeat shades within the two. Um, so if you do like to collect palettes and have a rather large collection, that is something to note. Other than that, I couldn't really think of too many palettes that this really reminded me of. That was just the first one that came to mind. There's me. Also, I wore my little moon necklace to kind of fit the spooky vibe. I have my purple hair now. I did it purple dusty lavender for Halloween. Um, and I'm feeling like Madame Mim from Sword in the Stone, if any of y'all know that show. I did pick up the whole Moonspell collection, so we do have two glosses and a liquid lip. However, I have been wearing the liquid lip a lot, and I cannot find it. It's in one of my millions of purses, um, but I will include a picture of what that looks like because it's one of my favorite fall shades so far. As always, we're going to be starting with my Fenty Eye Primer. I love a good Fenty Eye Primer. I've been playing around with the ColourPop one a little bit recently, and I actually quite like that one too but I feel like the Fenty will always be my go-to. So I'm trying to decide what to do with my bat lamp after Halloween. I kind of want to just leave it. Do you guys think that is a good idea or a bad idea? What are your vibes? Maybe I can find a Christmas themed one, but I really like the bat, so I think the bat's gonna stay. The first shade I want to dip into is Cameron, which is this kind of, you can see, oh, look how disastrous my desk is and all my plants. Anyway, the first shade I want to dip into is Cameron, which is this kind of coral shade. And I'm dipping into that on a Morphe M513. This is the Pride Collection Edition. And I'm going to use that as my crease shade. I'm feeling something like reddish, pinky purple maybe. I'm not really sure the vibe. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. I never have an idea when it comes to these videos. How are you all doing? What are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you guys dressing up? Are you staying in? I wanna know all the juicy details and I wanna know especially what you're going as for Halloween if you do dress up. We were supposed to go as Jedi from Star Wars. I don't actually watch Star Wars. I've only seen the new, new ones, like the ones with Rey and Kylo Ren. And apparently a lot of people have told me those are not good, so sorry. Uh, but we were supposed to go as Jedi and then we were going to get the dog, uh, like a little robe and he's going to be like the Jedi master. Um, but we did not order the costumes and Halloween is literally in a week, less than a week, I think, because it's Monday as I'm filming this and Halloween is on a Sunday. So by the time you see this, Halloween will probably already be here. It might actually be Halloween by the time I upload this. Next, using a Morphe M456, I'm going to go into Willow, which is more of a true red. And I'm going to use this as a crease shade. So this one I'm using to deepen up the crease a little bit under Cameron. And I'm going for that really deep red, sultry type color. 
I actually really like red eyeshadow on myself. When I was in high school, shout out to my mom if you're watching this, I'm sorry I'm sharing this, but when I was in high school, I used to wear red and like deeper red shades all the time and my mom always said it made me look sick. But I quite like red on myself, so sorry mom. Maybe I like to look sick. So this is a gorgeous shade. This is beautiful. It's actually reminding me a lot um, of like a brighter version of the Melt Cosmetics, uh, the waiting room palette that they did for Beetlejuice last Christmas. I really like this red shade though. I think this is fun. And with the purple hair, I think it's quite an interesting combination if I do say so. Sorry if you hear squeaking or running around that Bruce is in the hallway because he's not allowed in the makeup room. Every time he comes in the makeup room, he pees on the floor every time, even if I just take him out. Um, but he is in the hallway and I spoil him, so he has millions of toys and is probably playing his little heart out. We're gonna go back in with that original brush and just blend everything together so there's no harsh lines. Something like that, just a red smoky eye. I feel like all my looks are smoky eyes, but it's what I like best on myself. Next, I really wanna try this glittery purple shade Luna, Lunar Cosmetics, or what is this, Lunar Beauty, sorry. Lunar Beauty always has the prettiest glittery shimmer shades. So I just sprayed my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to layer that all over the lid. It's almost looking more like a glittery topper type shade though. Like I feel like you can still see in between the glitter a lot. You know what this actually reminds me of, this texture? This reminds me of the Pat McGrath palette and how a lot of her special shades have like that really glittery look to them. So that's kind of what it's looking like. I'm not mad at it. I don't, it's not my favorite, but I'm not mad about it. So I think actually what I wanna try, I wanna try something a little bit different on the other eye just to see. So I'm gonna take this uh, Lunar Beauty E3 brush and I'm going to dip into Alex, which is this very pale pink. So I'm going to put Alex on my lid right where I want to put the glitter shade and see if that makes any difference or if it's just the type of shade. I might have girl bossed a little bit too close to the sun and uh, done a little bit too much red, but it's okay. Nothing we can't fix. Sound off below if you guys get any of the broken table or berries in a cream TikTok or if I'm just so mentally ill at this point that that's all that's on my feed. Let me know. Okay, I kind of like it a little bit with the pink underneath. This is with no pink and this is with that little layer of pink underneath. And I think it's kind of cute. Using that same Lunar Beauty E3 brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into, I think, Let's go into Hilda first, and then I'm thinking I wanna jump into Louise on the end here. And I'm just popping this into my outer corners to deepen those up a little bit and add more of the pinky purple vibe to tie in that lid color with the red. Now I'm patting a little bit of Louise in just to add that little purple. And I'm just doing the smallest amount so you still see a little bit of a purple hue, but it's mostly the red and the pink. I really like the purple in the corners. I think that's a very fun touch. Something different. I look like Valentine's Day. Okay, I need to know, because assuming you're watching this, you kind of like spooky things because moon spell spooky. Do any of you guys watch American Horror Story? I just started watching the new season that came out in August. Like, I am months behind and just started watching it because I didn't actually realize it came out yet. And I... I don't know. It's not my favorite. I think it's kind of interesting. I want to know everyone else's thoughts though because I seem to have weird opinions on which seasons are good. Next going into this Morphe M222. I think I'm going to hop into Alex and Hilda again and do more of like a purple under my lower lash line just to change it up a little bit from the red. Okay, here is what we're looking like so far. It's kind of cute. I'm not mad about it. I think we need an inner corner highlight though. I think the only fitting shade in here would be Agatha. Normally I don't like to go for these chunky glitters as my inner corner highlights, but I do want to use only this palette and this seems to be the best option. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat that right into my inner corner and I'm gonna drag that up a little bit onto the lid and then down onto my lower lash line just a little bit just so it blends and isn't a random dot. So this is the vibe. What do we think? I actually, I really like this look. I think this is fun. It's cute. It's witchy. I'm into it. 
Look at that. Ooh, I'm kind of feeling myself. I didn't like it at first, but now I think I love it. Okay, so I think that is the whole look with the palette. If you want to see more looks with some more of these shades, let me know. I would love to use it in like a get ready with me or some other videos I have coming up. But I think now it is time to do a... Oh, actually, you know what I want to do? Before I jump too ahead of myself, I'm going to just take this little flat elf brush and I'm going to go into Marie, which is the black shade. And I'm just going to smoke that right on the outer top of my eyelid because I like to add a little bit of smoke. I have no natural lashes, so I like to make it look like I have a little something when I put mascara on and I don't want to do liner. Today I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, one of my favorite high-end mascaras. I've definitely cut back on my makeup collection quite a bit and I've declared all but four mascaras, two of which are colorful and I don't use them on a regular basis. Perfect, a little bit of mascara, looking a little more alive. For highlighter, I'm actually gonna use my Jeffree Star Extreme Frost. This is in the shade Lick My Glit, which sorry if you're um, under 18. Um, but it's just kind of this purpley green duo reflective situation and I'm just going to apply that a little bit to my nose but mostly to my cheekbones. Is he okay? Well, I'm in the living room. Oh. Bruce, you're fine. Can you chill your boobs for five minutes? We're down to lips. This is what she's looking like so far. Um, for lips, there are three products. There are two glosses and a liquid lip. Like I said at the beginning, I don't know where I put my liquid lip. I've been using it constantly. Um, but all the products come in these little packagings that match the packaging of the Moonspell palette. So super cute. It has like the little hands on there, the little gold details. Here are the two glosses. So this one is in the shade Coven. It's kind of like a peachy with a gold glitter. And this one is a shade that I don't think I'm allowed to say on YouTube. It's witchcraft, but with a B instead of a W. So you get the idea. And I think I want to go with the red one. I actually am really intrigued by this color. And I don't normally go for red lips. So for lip liner, I think I'm going to go with the shade Rosie from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't normally fill in my lips most of the way, but because it's a gloss, I think I'm going to do it today just to see. Um, but anyway, look how cute these little components are. It has like a little diamond in the cap underneath. It's so cute. Look how cute. Okay, look at this look. Look how cute that is. Ooh. I really enjoy this look. Look at that super cute okay well that is the final look i know we just did a little eye look and some lips but overall it was a fun collection to play with i really enjoyed it i feel like this was a very good collection a very well-rounded sequel to moonspell very impressed and i got to try some new products from lunar beauty with the lip products and honestly i'm not a huge fan of liquid lips and it's been my favorite liquid lip formula i think i've ever tried um and then same with the glosses like they're not sticky um but they're very pigmented and all of the products make sense with the palette and then the collection itself makes sense with the previous Moonspell collection. I am a huge fan. I highly recommend this and I will link it down below if you're interested. It is limited edition so once it's sold out he said he is not doing a restock so if you're interested don't wait on it. Definitely go get it but overall I think it was a great collection. That is all for today's video, friends. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on an upload and give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.